goodness. Okay, uh, guys, I'm back here after a couple of weeks at Auto Detailer. I finally can pick up my repeat. It's a bad timing because of the whole COVID-19 thingy, the whole uh, economic meltdown, and uh, I do not know how long I can own this car, but hey man, I have owned it once, maybe. <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, anyway, uh, let's throw away the bad news. Let's talk about the good news first, all right? First thing first, it looks absolutely immaculate. It looks like a brand new car now. Now, when I got the car, it has that really ugly, uh, cheap, half-face PPF coating. PPFs are very, very expensive, but PPFs are crucial, especially when you have a supercar. So, because you look at the, the paint that they use on these supercars, it's a different grade of paint. It's just different. This is called Morning Frost. Uh, it's a special paint from Aston Martin. You don't get it from the regular menu. And um, these paints are very, very expensive to replace. And it's a big no-no for supercars that has been repainted. Right? Very different from our regular, you know, Mercedes, BMW and all that, all right? Now, if you have PPF wrapped, it protects the paint, it conceals it. And then over the years, you can change your PPF film without affecting your original paint, all right? That's the idea of why people do PPF film. But uh, as you know, I'm not a rich man. I can't afford PPF. I can afford the road tax, but not the PPF. I can only pick one. Anyway, <laughs> jokes aside, I, I remove all the PPF and all that auto detailer has done for now is just the detailing and the paint correction. And the paint correction work is crazy because I touch my car, it doesn't come with a super thick layer of wax just to conceal off the uh, imperfections, but it's actually manually corrected. That means all the swirl marks, all the imperfections, everything, the little things that goes inside the paint and all that has been out, taken out, all right? And they even detail, they remove all the badges. Now, Aston Martin badges are all made by a jeweler, 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 in London okay yes it's a piece of jewelry and it's been made by the jeweler and then they will send it to Aston Martin to install it these vents no they're not plastic these are these are aluminium vents venting out hot air from the engine and then this one that looks like chrome is actually polished metal yes this is one piece of polished metal this one looks like plastic no it's not it's the same material as they use on your manifold is some like some die cast metal it's a really really hard sturdy material and uh, do I need to explain why I love the repeat why do I need to explain because it's just absolutely beautiful it is yes I agree with what people say it is the most beautiful four-door car in the world it is absolutely beautiful the, the lines that this car has, you know, the subtle lines that runs all the way over the gentle spoiler and to the other side. The bumper just clean and nice and covers the uh, exhaust. It doesn't have those really over the top diffuser and all that. And I like the fact that there are no door blades or whatever. It's just clean looking. The car looks beautiful, especially this part, this really subtle part that extends out you know just beautiful and then the door handles that hides inside so this is a very 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 beautiful car the grills up front looks like it looks like chrome again no every single piece of it is aluminium these are all brushed aluminium real material being used all right and uh, it's just a gorgeous car. Now, I don't see the repeat as a four-door sedan that has very poor rear leg room. I see it as a supercar that somehow they took the effort to make a door out of this part. So you can put passengers at the back here in certain sports cars, but every time you need to fold the seat to let the rear kit out, and it's not the most uh, 
it's not the sexiest motion, you know, when you're doing that. So what Aston did is they look at all the Grand Tourers, the all, all the Grand Turismos, and then the GT Coupes. They make a small door at the back there just to let the rear passengers go in and out. But of course, they also extend the car slightly so that it's a little bit more dignified, you know, when you go in and out, okay? So, as so I open the door, see that? That's the opening, small by every measure, but if I compare this to an S-Class Coupe, a 6-series six series, uh, Coupe, of course the 6-series GC is way better, but the GC doesn't look like a 2-door anymore. It looks like a 4-door. And this car still looks like a 2-door Coupe, alright? Still looks beautiful. Oh my god, I just don't feel like touching everything because the car looks like a new car. Oh. But it, it does look like a new car when it came, but still, this is way better than... Okay, uh, and uh, Auto Detailer also, they have now started to sell tints, okay? They have this really, really high-tech tint that came all the way from US. It's called Seralux, Photosync Seralux. And this tinting is... Uh, according to them, it, it has a lifetime warranty against performance degradation. That means most films, after three or five or six years, uh, you will see some of them after you know under the sun and all that, right? They no longer work as well as when they were new. Yeah, you will understand this if you have done tinting, especially those tinting that. Uh, it's so expensive that it's unforgettable. Uh, I'm sure some of you has went to expensive brands and then you spend 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 ringgit on really expensive tin. And of course they're good. They're better. I mean, having tin versus no tin is of course way better. But after four years, five years, the performance degrades. But this new film, this new, the latest technology that they have from uh, Seralux, um it will not degrade I mean it's not like it will not degrade but they give you a lifetime warranty against that alright so however many years you use it you can come back here and get it measured the other thing that uh, has with this tint is that it will not affect your phone signals your GPS signals these are again the new technology films it will not affect that the other thing is that this tint is primarily engineered to give laser clear cut vision i'm not joking here uh, if you've done tinting and then you, you don't understand what's going on let me tell you especially our windscreen our windscreen has a little slight curve okay there's a slight curve to it so there are times when after you apply your tint you will notice that you somehow can't see as clear but you thought it was last night you didn't sleep well and all that or is your age catching up and all that no it's actually the slight distortion in the vision of the tint. Alright? This one, none of that. And the last thing that Darren told me, this one has the highest TSER uh, from what they have measured. Okay? This one, the TSER reaches 84%, which is very, very high because uh, I remember my Volvo is 67. It's already very, very high. Okay. You must have noticed the door, right? It did not broke. That's how Aston Martin doors open. No joke, all right? This is how an Aston Martin door opens. Why? Because it allows you to clear curbs that are upwards of two feet, okay? Curbs that are two feet high and you can still clear them. And it doesn't end up your door being too high like a, like a Lamborghini or something. So it's the perfect balance okay it swing upwards so that it doesn't swing as so that it doesn't swing as wide but it swings slightly upwards so that you get a benefit of all now if i open all doors on an aston martin you will see how beautiful it is when all doors are open there we go
come to the front and show you guys that's how it looks like when all doors are open absolutely beautiful so those of you who have been thinking should you go and get a, a repeat go and get it because you don't get anything like this anymore all right Aston Martin won't produce this car anymore they're done and uh, you better go and grab it and don't let go of it because this car is worth every single ringgit of that whatever 300,000 they are asking for now it's a bargain when you think about it what is this? that's the fuel cap I think the lever for the bonnet was on the other side interestingly oh there we go oh very soft lever you don't need to exert any strength and it opens okay if you think wow the car looks so new because darren has done a full detailing on this car every single bit of it all right so yeah that's how the car looks with everything open up absolutely beautiful look at these parts these are real aluminium Right, hand built in England. Final inspection by Matt Robbins. Matt Robbins, shout out to you if you're watching this. That's a six liter V12 from the Repeat S. Beautiful engine, beautiful sounding engine. Uh, they say it's very reliable. I hope it is very reliable. <laughs> the beautiful interior of the Repeat. Every single button that you see here is milled from a single piece of aluminium every single knob every single button every single toggle switches everything is made of metal or magnesium or aluminium or wood or basically leather all this you thought it's plastic no it's leather it's real metal real stuff leather leather everything is leather this one looks like plastic no it's metal yeah all this metal beautiful materials all round okay that's what an Aston Martin stood for that's what it stands for your car has a door it's a handle for you to go up into the car this one has a leather strap with a polished metal and another heavy polished metal here for you to hold to grab as a handle and it has magnets in there so that yeah that's an Aston Martin and look at this part as well you have a shelf for you to put your luggage and all that and if you want to cover off the rear compartment you can push this up and there's magnets as well oh, snaps into place sorry yeah lovely all right there's the magnet ah oh, lovely Yep, so that's the car, that's the new tin. I can't open my windows for two weeks. Oh, double glazed windows. Yeah. And uh, I'm excited. All right. Cheers, guys. Let's close the boot. Close the doors. Close the bonnets. It's like your bicycle brake line. Damn. Lovely. Close the doors. Oh, halfway they will hold it. They will hold themselves. If you close halfway. Yep. You notice the two glass actually covers the B pillar. So the B-pillar was designed to be inside and then the glass would cover it one piece to enhance the feeling of that this is a coupe without a B-pillar but actually the B-pillar is hidden inside. This is a very very complicated way of making cars and uh, unnecessarily complicated. Yeah, the Brits, something they always do. Alright, so yeah, that's the repeat.
and this is collection day of the car beautiful let's go for a drive cheers guys